of charges uh, filed against a West Haven man is long would be an understatement. 57 counts of larceny, burglary, and conspiracy. Police say he's responsible for a series of copper thefts along the shoreline. News 8's Andy Rourke has more on this case. Christopher Casarco was already out on a promise to appear for other charges when these alleged new crimes occurred. The judge here at Milford Superior Court wasn't too happy to hear that and didn't go easy on him. Despite his lawyer's protest, 24-year-old Christopher Casarco's bond remains at $60,000. The charges are relatively minor, things like burglary in the third degree, larceny in the sixth, and criminal trespassing. But there are 57 charges. Police say he and an unnamed female accomplice went on a copper-stealing spree through West Haven. You have to be pretty desperate to go into a... a pretty dangerous situation to steal some things. On Blom Street, not one, not two, but three houses in a row, all on Casarco's alleged hit list. And when copper thieves go in, they do damage, ripping out the pipes and wiring, but also damaging the sheetrock, building material, water and gas line. They took all the copper out. Uh, it's probably enough copper to, to, to get a, a $30 at a scrap dealer. And uh, it cost me probably four or five thousand dollars to have it replaced. Peter Cusinelli is the owner of 214 Blom Street. He says he's delighted to hear of Casarco's arrest, but he'd also like to see police go after the dealers. These scrap dealers, when they see somebody walk in with a, a bunch of copper that's been broken apart, why do they buy it from these guys? They know what they did, they know where it came from. Cusinelli is also rehabbing another home down the street. The copper, also ripped out of that home, he says it is like an epidemic. I've been in this business for 30 years and this is worse than I've ever seen it and I believe uh, it has to do with the economy. Casarco will be back in court June 30th. On the scene in Milford, I'm Annie Rourke, News 8.